Welcome to the channel, I'm FaZeCast, and today we are going to rank every piece of gear in Survivor.io from worst to best on a tier list. I'm going to break the tier list up into categories and then show you a complete tier list at the end of the video with everything on it including weapons. I already made a video where I ranked weapons on a tier list. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Today we are going to rank chest plates, necklaces, belts, gloves, and boots. If you want to see more Survivor.io videos, let me know by giving this video a a like and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Starting off with chest plates in the C tier is the carapace. The carapace reduces bullet damage received. It's decent in a few chapters I guess, but really underwhelming. I believe I mentioned this in a walkthrough, it seems like it could work in theory, but it just doesn't. In the B tier we have the army uniform, traveler's jacket, and protective suit. The army uniform allows you to gain inspire from elite slash boss kills that heals a percentage of HP every 5 seconds. There are circumstances where this is useful, if you cannot locate food and have potentially become surrounded, this chest plate can help you heal. The Traveler's Jacket increases the healing effect by a percentage and will heal a percentage of HP for every 200 monsters killed when it reaches an epic grade. If you are running through monsters and taking damage, this piece of gear might be useful. The Protective Suit releases a radiation pulse when your hero is hit, and it can knock the enemy back when the gear reaches the epic grade. It's great in many early chapters, but once you progress, you may find it limited. In the A tier is the Full Metal Suit. The Full Metal Suit is pretty much the downgraded version of the Eternal Suit. An excellent grade Full Metal Suit will revive your hero once with 50% HP. An epic grade Full Metal Suit will additionally revive your hero with full HP, a 10% attack increase, and a 10% movement speed increase. If you don't have the Eternal Suit, this piece of gear makes an excellent choice. In the S tier is the Eternal Suit. Who would have thought? An excellent grade Eternal Suit can revive your hero once with a 15% attack increase and a 15% movement speed increase. A legend grade Eternal Suit can revive your hero a second time. Nothing beats reviving in a battle for free with additional buffs. Next are necklaces and in the C tier is the Emerald Pendant. An excellent grade Emerald Pendant generates a radiation ring that deals damage over time. It is a essentially like a small force field. In the B tier, we have the Bone Pendant and Army Nameplate. The Bone Pendant slows monsters in range. It will create an area around you sort of like the Emerald Pendant does, but bigger, which slows enemies when they enter. I've debated putting it in the C tier, but the slow effect is more unique than causing damage. With the Army Nameplate, your hero will gain Inspire from Elite slash Boss kills, and their damage will be increased by a percentage. This is a great necklace to use in early chapters if you can avoid getting hit once you defeat a boss or elite. In the A tier, there are two necklaces, the Metal Neck Guard and Trendy Charm. The Metal Neck Guard increases the first and last passive skill effect you choose in battle by a percentage, so if you choose a skill wisely, you can potentially turn into a killing machine. The Trendy Charm is all about reducing skill cooldown. An excellent grade Trendy Charm can reduce skill cooldown up to 10%, and an epic grade reduces an additional 30%. This is a great necklace to use in a DPS type of build. A lot of players love it. In the S tier is the Eternal. Eternal Necklace. The Eternal Necklace is insane. With an excellent grade Eternal Necklace, your hero will deal additional damage to enemies with full HP. In addition, the higher the target's HP, the more damage you will cause. A legend grade Eternal Necklace will increase all passive effects by 15%. This is a great piece of gear that's all about helping you cause high damage. In the C tier is the Protective Gloves piece of gear. Starting at an excellent grade, killed monsters will leave a radiation ring that deals damage over time. When a monster dies, a small ring will pulse and cause damage. It's a little underwhelming and seems to be ineffective at times, but there are some uses for it. In the B tier are leather gloves, army gloves, and shiny wrist guards. Excellent leather gloves increase the chance to crit by 5%, while epic leather gloves increase crit damage by 50%, which will cause the target to take constant damage over a period of time. Army gloves increase the damage dealt to elites and bosses by 20% at an excellent grade, and 50% at epic. It's a good piece of gear to use in daily challenges and chapters with difficult bosses and elites. Shiny wrist guards cause a minor explosion when monsters die, and the effect can be increased when it reaches an epic grade. I've used this and I kind of like it. It reminds me of a poison damage effect, or domino effect, which is really cool. In the A tier, we have fingerless gloves. You can boost your attack by a total of 55% with legend grade fingerless gloves, as well as insta-kill non-boss monsters, including elites. Excellent grade fingerless gloves unlock a skill that gives you a 1% 
50% chance to insta-kill non-boss monsters, and I find this skill alone to be very useful and effective. In addition, epic grade fingerless gloves boost your damage by 3% for every 200 monsters killed up to 30%. So it's not exactly a fixed percentage, but it doesn't rely on your health to be above 50% like eternal gloves do. In the S tier are eternal gloves. Legend grade eternal gloves can boost your attack by a total of 60%, crit chance by 10%, and crit damage by 100%. If your HP drops below 50%, the attack boost will drop to 40%. These gloves are absolute monsters. Their primary focus is basically increasing crit rate and crit damage, but they can boost attack by 40% at a fixed percentage, unlike other gloves with a fixed attack increase percentage of 25. In the C tier, the first pair of boots are layered snowshoes. Layered snowshoes are the knockoff versions of eternal boots. An excellent grade pair of boots will leave behind radiation rings that deal damage over time while moving. In the B tier, we have prosthetic legs and high boots. There's a time and place to use prosthetic legs, and it's not all the time, and it's not every place. Prosthetic legs are pretty good once they reach an epic grade. They will automatically heal your hero for 1% HP every 3 seconds while moving, so if you're not utilizing other gear or skills that heal HP, then these could work. When you kill 200 monsters while wearing excellent grade high boots, you will gain forced march for 5 seconds, which will increase your movement speed by 30%. That doesn't sound too great, and it really isn't, but epic grade high boots will additionally grant immunity to bullet damage, and reduce collision damage by 20% during the forced march period. In the A tier, army boots. Excellent army boots will inspire your hero, giving them 30% movement speed when they kill an elite or a boss. This fades when the hero is hit. In addition, epic grade army boots will reduce the cooldown by 20% when inspired, and this is great for DPS type loadouts. In the S here we have two pieces of gear for once. We have the Eternal Boots and Light Runners. I prefer Eternal Boots more than I do Light Runners most of the time. Excellent Eternal Boots leave a trail of fire when moving, and this is great at killing bosses who follow behind you, and fighting monsters that leave puddles of lasting damage on the ground. These boots will also increase movement speed by 2, starting at a good or green grade, making them the best in game in my opinion. Excellent Light Runners will reduce the damage received by 20% for 30 seconds after receiving damage, and Epic Light Runners will increase damage by 20% for 3 seconds after killing an enemy. Light Runners are boots that have the ability to increase attack by a decent percentage. They are great in later chapters and can be used in place of eternal boots. The first belt in the C tier is the Leather Belt. An excellent grade leather belt increases healing when looting food, and an epic grade leather belt increases movement speed when looting food. Both of these skills will be increased by 5% and can reach 30% total. These percentages are not bad at all, and if you are able to loot a lot of food, these may be the best boots to use, but it's limited to just a few cases. In the B tier is the Broad Waist Guard and Army Belt. The Broad Waist Guard releases a radiation pulse while healing, dealing damage proportionate to HP healed. An epic grade piece of gear doubles the damage caused by the radiation pulse. With an excellent Army Belt, your hero will gain a shockwave shield when they kill elites and bosses. An epic grade Army Belt puts your hero into a dominator state for 5 seconds when shockwave is triggered, which temporarily increases damage and movement speed by 100% and maximizes cooldown time. In the A tier is the Stylish Belt and Waist Sensor. With an epic grade Stylish Belt, you will gain a shield that blocks damage one time for every 200 monsters killed, and the shield will grant immunity for one second. If utilized correctly, this can be beneficial against enemies with high damage. An excellent grade Waist Sensor will increase your movement speed by 20% when your HP is above 50%, and an epic grade Waist Sensor will reduce damage received by 20% when your HP is below 50%. Finally, in the S tier is the Eternal Eternal Belt. The Eternal Belt increases the revival effect by 20%, so it pairs well with gear that revives your hero, like the Eternal Suit and Full Metal Suit, as it will increase the stats once revived. An excellent grade Eternal Belt will also trigger invincibility for 2 seconds when damaged, once every minute, and a legend grade belt will increase attack by 50% during the invincibility period. I put every piece of gear here on a tier list, including weapons. I think all weapons are great. I love the shotgun, and I love the Gatling. It is personally my favorite weapon to use, but I understand that it can be problematic so it's in the C tier. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you could rank anything different